Hi, I'm Wendell, and this is my new Threadripper workstation. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's nuts. I must have lost my mind. So yeah, this is my new battle station, but you know, what is in a battle station? A battle station does not a something make a rose by any other name? I don't know. Well, it's got Threadripper, obviously. This is based on the Lian Li DK05, which is a sit-stand desk, it's ergonomic. So it is somewhat mechanical. I think I can get away with calling it a robot. So we're gonna call it Desky, because, you know, we, we sort of, at the ro it's like Bendy, the robot, and you know, not because not Bender, I don't know. I don't know, anyway, it's fine. Yeah, so this is sort of over the top. We've gone a little crazy. Now the Lee and Lee DK05 comes with a lot of RGB stuff. There's actually built-in RGB controls. We did a full review on this desk. This is really just to show off the mods and the stuff that we did to it. And to talk about sort of the plan here uh, a little bit more than just like a review about the desk. But the Lee and Lee DK05. Now the Lee and Lee DK05 does not come with any kind of fancy monitor mounting solution. What we've gone with is Spaceco. What we've done is taken the tempered glass top and cut a notch out in the back for the monitor tree and uh, built an aluminum block to support the weight of this enormous monitor tree. And so this is actually a triple monitor setup, probably gonna have some speakers or monitors or something mounted on either side of the track over here. And then we've got two more displays here, but we've also mounted a display inside the desk. The display inside the desk right now is showing me uh, stats about the system, free disk space, processes that are running on the computer, that sort of thing. I kind of like this. I think this is more useful than RGB. Might use the RGB for some ambient lighting behind the desk, something like that. That's kind of cool. I can get behind that. This being a sit-stand desk, of course, it means it's height adjustable. You can take it up and down. That's pretty cool. You can learn more about that in the review. Inside the system, we've got an MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. This is a Threadripper motherboard. We've also got the Threadripper 1950X and some Trident Z DDR4 memory. Right now, I've got the 32 gigabyte kit from G-Skill, but the 128 gigabyte kit is on the way. And it should be noted that this is a desk that I paid for. Yes, I'm a crazy person. We're actually doing kind of a roundup and it's like, is there something to this whole sit stand desk ergonomics thing? Let's build a couple of battle stations. And I really couldn't make up my mind. We got it down to two. And so whether I end up using this battle station in the long term or not, it will get a lot of use. Don't worry, around the, <laughs> around the level one offices. It's gonna be kind of nuts actually. We've got another video coming up with another version of a sit-stand desk, one that we put together from components from three different vendors. I like that one too. I like that one a lot. The other one doesn't have as much awesome in terms of dealing with, you know, a computer. You can put two computers in this thing and I can't actually show you the other computer that's in this for another month or so. So you'll have to stay tuned to try to figure that out. But I have a feeling that the second computer in this desk, I'm going to be constantly rotating in and out. And that's why I love the desk mod, because look, I can take the glass off and I only have to move my mouse and keyboard. I don't have to take down my monitors, which you would normally have to do on the normal DK05 desk. So if you want a monitor solution like this, you're gonna have to get out your drill and your hacksaw, maybe make friends with the machine shop guy, not really sure. I also wanna say huge thanks to MSI, because MSI has got some engineers working with me on trying to figure out some of the idiosyncrasies, some of the quirks around virtualization and Threadripper and Linux. So I'm of course running Fedora 26 on this workstation. I've got a few virtual machines. I'm having some trouble with hardware pass-through. Basically the hardware pass-through works with Vega, but that's because Vega doesn't enter the S3 state on the PCI bus. I've got a GTX 1080 in here right now, Founders Edition 1080, and it won't, it's in state zero, so low power, uh, but it won't come out of state zero. So MSI is helping me figure that out or at least gathering information and their engineers are working on it, their BIOS engineers, they're cooking up special UEFIs for me. I'm like, I don't know, let's try this. And they're like, okay. And so they actually will like cook up a special custom UEFI, which is amazing. So huge, huge thanks to MSI for trying to help resolve this issue on Linux. So I've gone with MSI components for the build. I think it's gonna be pretty great. It's not quite ready yet. It's almost there, it's just about there. But uh, if you're into PCIe pass-through right now, Vega, it's the only card I know that works. Gonna experiment some more with Polaris, but I can tell you that a GTX 1080, a GTX 1080 Ti, because of like the card going to sleep and waking up, 
it does not work for pass-through yet on Threadripper. So hopefully that'll be fixed. If you wanna learn more about that, you can subscribe to our Linux channel, uh, Level One Linux, because that's usually where we put the videos about this obscure Linux virtualization crazy person stuff. So eh, could be good. But this is the build that I'm using to test all that. This is the Linux machine that I'm using to debug the kernel and mess with NPT patches and do all of that kind of stuff. Now, as I did this project, I really enjoyed this project, but it occurred to me, I need more hardware. So uh, the monitor that's in this is made out of a 27 inch shimmy and that has some backlight problems. So I can take it apart and I won't feel bad if I destroy anything. But it occurred to me, I could probably get hardware from the internet. So I'm creating a web page on the Level 1 Text website, which is linked to in the description below. If you have some of the hardware that we're looking for and you want to send it to us for free, uh, we might even pay shipping, maybe, depending on where you are. Yeah. Uh, and you would like to see that hardware maybe used in a future project, I've got a wish list of hardware. One of the things, for example, is uh, Apple 27-inch iMac displays from approximately 2009. Why, why that display? That display uses embedded DisplayPort, which is the same thing that I used on the uh, Lee and Lee um, PC that had the Retina display, the little Lee and Lee like portable machine, the little tiny one that I built a couple of years ago. That machine uses embedded DisplayPort because the iPad display uses embedded DisplayPort. Well, the 27-inch iMac displays also use embedded DisplayPort. Those displays are really thin, self-contained. They're great. That would make a much better fit for under the glass here. Or maybe I could use a couple of 24 inches uh, in, in portrait mount. So if you have embedded DisplayPort LCDs and you'd like to send them to us, uh, please do message me because I would love to get my hands on that. There's other random hardware that we'll add to the hardware page from, from, from time to time. So if the community wants to get involved with hardware projects and you've got hardware laying around or you've got a broken iMac somewhere that has a probably working display, let us know because we can build crazy stuff out of it. And I always like to have more hardware to build crazy stuff out of it. So I like doing these kind of projects. I don't know where this is gonna go from here. I'm sure this is not the last time you've seen this desk. Uh, and I'm sure that this is not a finished product in its current state, but I'm really impressed with how it all came together. The aluminum support for the monitor arms, the internal display, that sort of thing. So if you wanna share your thoughts on the project or you have other ideas or you actually pick up the DK05 because it's kind of pricey, let us know. If you're thinking about getting a sit-stand desk, do wait for our second video because we'll give you some options for a lower cost alternative for the sit-stand desk that, that works really well, but also has a significant load bearing capacity and you can thread the needle in terms of monitor mounting, keyboard mounting, and that kind of thing. It's not just slapping a piece of wood on some legs and calling it a day. No, we actually want to build a comfortable workstation. Ergonomics is key. So stay tuned. I'm Wendell. I'm signing out. You can find me in the forums at level1text.com.